quick, drop a like in the next five seconds if you want the secret method to unlocking the Deadpool back bling early on your personal Fortnite account. We send five new gifts every single video, and if you want to win, simply comment your epic username and make sure you subscribe to the channel, and if you subscribe right now, you can be our 4.1 million subscriber. Welcome back, everybody, to a brand new video. Today, we're diving straight into a major update inside of Fortnite related to new challenges on which you guys will be able to unlock V-Bucks once completing all of those challenges. It's a massive video today, so make sure to stay tuned. I would have never thought something like this would now be inside of Fortnite. And can I just say the new item shop skins are amazing, and if you're picking them up, make sure to use code GhostNinja in the item shop, and if you guys do, let me know in the comments because this allows me to do all of my massive giveaways here on the channel So I do appreciate it We have a massive update inside of Fortnite that's related to the V-Buck challenges A brand new pack inside of Fortnite and also a brand new helicopter vehicle uh, Which we're going to be showcasing everything on today's video So let's dive into this so to kick things off, let's take a look at the new helicopter vehicle, which as you know, is one of the most anticipated things coming to Fortnite, and we have some more information on that. Now, as you guys know, inside of the update, we did receive a bunch of new helicopter pad locations, meaning the helicopter is just weeks away from being released. Now, how it essentially is going to work, which as you can see here, all the statistics behind it, is the helicopter is going to have 1500 HP. You're gonna be able to boost it and it's gonna be identical to how boats are boosted And also as you can see with the damage it does very slight to none damage when using the helicopter Which in my opinion is some very good stuff to hear and for a side note It seems to be when they release the helicopter Pleasant Park is gonna be getting a major change because if you use the porta potty to go underneath the lair You will then see a helicopter pad which if you guys go up it will then be directly above the soccer field which many people are speculating that that soccer field will open up once someone has entered a helicopter underneath Pleasant Park and it will then shut once they drive away that to me is some very exciting stuff to look forward to once the helicopter has then been released inside of Fortnite so with that being said now let's take a look at the new pack and also how you can unlock some new V-Bucks so for the new V-Buck challenges we have a double whammy because we have some new V-Buck challenges where you guys can unlock it through a pack and we also have specific V-Buck challenges when specifically then unlocking challenges inside of your Fortnite match. So to start things off let's take a look at the new packs. I know you guys really want to see what's happening with the pack and how you're going to be able to then get the thousand V-Bucks once acquiring this pack. As you guys can see it has now been found inside of the game coding that the contract Giller skin which essentially is the fish stick skin and also the dorsal destroy back bling will now be a part of a set coming to Fortnite. So you unlock the back bling, the skin, most likely for about $10 to $15. Once then purchasing that, you guys will then unlock a thousand V-Buck challenge, uh, which most likely will just be for daily challenges. And once completing those daily challenges, you will then get a thousand V-Bucks after the 10 days of challenges. As you know, we saw this with like the breakpoint challenges in the past. It's definitely something very likely to come. So expect about a $10 pack and then also expect about $10 of V-Bucks in return as well as with the skin and back bling. A pretty cool pack and a pretty cool way to unlock a thousand V-Bucks when purchasing it. And now for one of the most exciting things is the specific V-Buck challenges you guys will be able to unlock. And like I said before, it's going to give you just enough V-Bucks to buy something you're really going to want. So as you guys can see, I Fire Monkey tweeted this out saying this challenge set has existed forever but the xp was updated inside of the game for season two now obviously this means this is going to be a challenge set that we can most likely then expect inside of fortnite relatively soon but it's something i found very interesting so as you guys can see here are the challenges our first challenge is to search treasure chest at a participating pc cafe and then you'll unlock 75 ebooks the second challenge build structures at the participating pc cafe 
another 75 V-Bucks, and for the last two challenges, you will then unlock 200 V-Bucks, which is specifically playing matches with friends and or just by yourself. And once completing all four of those challenges, you guys will then unlock 350 V-Bucks for absolutely free. And looking at the bottom half of the challenges, it seems to be that is a 400,000 XP reward, as well as with a free contrail of some sort. It looks pretty cool, but overall, I'm looking very forward to unlocking these V-Bucks through these challenges. And let me know if you guys are in need of some V-Bucks because this will definitely be helpful Now in addition all the major Fortnite leakers have found out that we're gonna have an additional update on Tuesday Bringing a bunch of new content now it looks to be we're gonna have weekly updates inside of Fortnite Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves But if Fortnite is already testing their next update it most likely is gonna be coming out on Tuesday And like I said if that's the case I'm gonna be looking Looking really forward to the future of this season especially if we have the weekly updates now as you guys can see here are some of the issues that they are currently gonna work on for that next update so if anything of this nature is happening to you you can expect it to then be fixed inside of the next major update most likely happening on Tuesday now because I play on the PC but I do use a controller I really want to talk about this and get your guys's thoughts on it as you can see Epic Games have now officially posted this on the news tab, which is a countdown on them making changes to aim assist on Fortnite for anyone that uses a controller. So it looks to be that legacy look controls will now be officially removed from Fortnite, which as you guys know was a new setting added about a couple months ago. And you guys were able to pretty much just have better accuracy when using legacy. But now it looks to be on March 13th, they are going to be removing it it from Fortnite, which has obviously now been stated as well on their official Twitter. So expect that change next Friday. So if you guys do use Legacy, it's time for you guys to move on to the next one because personally, I'm not a huge fan of this change, but at the same time, I did not use Legacy. But if you guys did, let me know your thoughts down below. And if anyone plays on mouse and keyboard, what is your guys' thoughts about this? Now, I don't want to get into a rant debating if, you know, PC and controller is better, mouse and keyboard, Ever, but I just want to get your guys' thoughts about this because I found it kind of interesting that Fortnite's been listening to like the mouse and keyboard community and where they're really upset about aim assist and how strong it is and now they're making a change as this so I don't know what's your guys' thoughts I don't have too big of thoughts I'm not really that much concerned considering I didn't use legacy it's not that big of an issue for me but I know as far as for like the whole community it's a pretty big issue so what is your guys' official thoughts as most most of you know you were able to unlock the new week three reward which was a pretty cool looking spray but for week four deadpool challenges we have the coolest item yet and that is the new deadpool katana back bling which i know a lot of you guys are looking to unlock so this back bling is going to be absolutely free and it's going to be obtainable through the week four challenges now as you guys can see you're gonna have to find two different katanas around the Florida map and once you guys have done so you will then move on to the next challenge which is dealing damage to structures which obviously is a pretty self-explanatory like this challenge it's pretty easy just shoot structures of enemies and you guys will then have that challenge completed now once you guys have done so as i stated before you will then unlock the deadpool katana backling which like i said man is the coolest reward by far up until week eight which then will unlock the deadpool skin but my question is what are we gonna have for week five six and seven because we're already getting a back bling that's super cool in week four i can only imagine week five six and seven be just as cool if not cooler because week eight then is gonna give us the skin what is your overall thoughts on that definitely a really cool looking reward coming to fortnite this upcoming week something i wanted to keep you guys interested in and also if you guys want to know those locations for the katana i'll link the video that i posted yesterday on that it's really informational and helpful so definitely check out yesterday's video if that's something you want to know exactly when the challenges do go live what is your guys's overall thoughts about the v-buck challenges coming to fortnite is this something you're looking forward to i personally think if they're gonna give us 75 100 150 v bucks a challenge that's totally cool with me if they were gonna give like a thousand two thousand then we're kind of getting a little ridiculous there 
but if it's only like 75 to 150 V bucks per challenge I think that is totally necessary I don't think it's too much and I think it's definitely helpful for players that may only have like four or five hundred V bucks just sitting on their account but they can't really buy anything with it that's where then that that kind of helps and comes in clutch especially if you don't have many V bucks and you can't keep buying them if your parents aren't going to give you the money or maybe you just don't have the money to spend it on the V bucks so this is definitely a really cool tactic Fortnite's going to be doing here in the future of season two definitely let me know your overall thoughts about today's video and let me know if you're going to be picking up the contract giller uh, pack i'll definitely purchase it and do a bunch of giveaways for that so stay tuned i'll definitely keep you guys posted on that but if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and if you guys can use my supporter kit or take ghost Ninja in the fortnite item shop we greatly appreciate it and with all of that being said ladies and gentlemen i will catch you on the next video let me know what you guys thoughts are down below thank you all for watching peace out